Um, so let's begin there. So I, of course, have the four A's and I, I want to get to that. But you really have pillars in the book of what we need to address. And I have my whole list. Um, I want to start, obviously, with water. But let me know if I've missed anything here. Water, food, products, home are all an integral part of the 21-day plan. Cleaning all of this up and getting it to work for you instead of working against you. Mm -hmm. Um, Water is obviously very big. Just go. Hit us with the... Tap water, bottled water. What's what's the yeah. deal? What's in the water? Let's go. Yeah. So let's start with the fact that when we, you know, I believe that water. Let me give you my starting statement. Water, drinking water in the United States, although it's better than obviously third world countries in terms of its regulations, is really dirty, and it is actually one of the most unrecognized. Um, contributors to human health conditions that I can think of, because by volume, we just consume so much. And as human beings, we're made up of 85 to 90 percent water. Every tissue, every cell in our body is made up of water. So if we don't get this right, and that's why I want to help people understand why we should care about it and then what to do about it. The thing about the U.S. regulation on water is that it really is old. It's archaic regulation that still holds today. In 1974, we had the Safe Drinking Water Act, which it was it was remedied a little bit, a couple, you know, twice, but really didn't change much. So from 1974, we are now at all of our 160,000 wastewater treatment plants, which actually make our water for 85 percent of the U.S. population. It follows all those, you know, places, those 160,000. They are covered by the Safe Drinking Water Act, which only says that there are 91, 91 chemicals that we have to test for regularly and routinely and remediate if they go above a certain level when they're testing it before it gets sent out to homes. Okay, so 91 from the 70s. Right. Right. We now have over Mm -hmm. 95,000 potential chemicals. Just remembering you say that. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, no, it's it's, it's, minus 91. Correct. Yeah. And so they go in one side and that comes from lakes and streams and aquifers under the ground, from air quality issues, from farming industry, Mm -hmm. from manufacturing dumping, from sewage, by the way, when you flush your toilet. All of that goes through one side and it pretty much all comes out the other side. And then it travels, say, 30 miles, in my case, from my my wastewater treatment plant, which I visited and toured and it 30 miles through PVC piping, maybe lead piping, maybe breaks in the piping. Who knows? and it gets to your home. Wells, well water from our home or from your township or you know local town if you're rural, those make up about 50 15% of, you know, coverage of 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 the US population. So really it's mostly wastewater treatment plants that we need to think about. Um but guess what? We have such great opportunity to fix this problem. Now that we know there's a problem, we can Mm -hmm. fix this problem by understanding that when that water comes into your home, whether it's from a well or from wastewater treatment plant, you can filter it when it hits your home. It's called the point of use and you get it before it hits your glass. And that is control. That is empowerment that I believe everyone should know about. Okay. Um, Do we just care about what's going in our glass or do we also care about what's coming out of the shower. And I I ask you this because I have been battling orange hair. It's not funny. Um, But if I was to literally call up Lauren, who colors my hair, every six weeks, I'm like, my hair is orange again, Lauren. And she's like, it's the water. And where we're currently at, to make it not to go on a tangent here i can't put a filter on the shower it's like built into the yeah. it is turning my hair bronze and yeah. I, I, clearly health issues are, are more significant but the point i'm trying to make is that it, it's changing the color of my hair and our skin is from what i have come to understand over the course of my career is transdermal things get from the skin into the body so are we also worried about what we're bathing in or is that less of a concern? Great question. And look, as one person who colors their hair to another, 
Uh, and this goes into, you know, my four A's that we'll talk about in terms of life and choices. You know, here's the thing. We want to we want to balance out real, you know, perspective and getting fearful and all that. When it comes to your home and you you mentioned it already, there are faucets, actually. I'm sorry, shower heads that you can buy at all the big box Home Depot Lowe's. You can buy them. They exist or even online okay. that are a carbon block filter. It means the water kind of pushes through it very quickly. It's why it works in our pitchers, very convenient, why it works in our refrigerator door. And it goes through quickly, and that means it takes out less stuff, Got right? It. Yeah. When you have a, a more more aggressive filtration system, like a reverse osmosis, which we'll talk about, that takes longer. That's more surface area. It just takes out more and then kind of fills a tank for most of them, right? So you're making water while you sleep, so to speak, right? It takes it. longer, and, and you don't have to worry about it. But when it comes to shower heads, yeah, they can really help with what's called hard water, you know, minerals that can make your, your hair change, um, chemicals that can make your hair change. All of those things play into the water that comes into our tubs and our showers. But shower heads do now exist. And I encourage this for people who are really worried about costs. When you're making these changes, and I fill this up in the book, you got to be thinking about costs, whether it's testing water or testing your body or buying this or buying that. Let's put money in part of this equation so it's not just for the rich, right? Mm -hmm. We want to be thinking. I actually promote more often than not. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the podcast, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And make sure to let me know what guests you want to see on in the future.